Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hey, fish family, welcome back to Tabatak Aquatics. And you are down here in my fish room. And I'm just going to do a quickie tonight. I just want to show you some of these guys that um, I very seldom show. These guys, uh, well, they are proper um, juveniles at this point. They went from grow outs to uh, juveniles. I still have a few that might be considered grow outs. Look like somebody been tearing at the side of that um, carpenter's right there. I'm gonna have to heal them up with some Melafix or something. But look at that Jafarum. Um, look at my Cuban. Um, I have seven Freddies in here. Um, I had got all of them from Matt from Cichlid Dojo. I was hoping to get lucky and get like a pair out of here, but it looks like they all are male. Um, Mike D from Cichlid Hut, if you're looking, give me your opinion. Um, big lad, big Paul, fish, big fish lad, Paul. Um, let me know in the comments what you think, bro. Um, yeah, I think I got a bunch of males. I was hoping that that one was a female, but I'm looking at all the spangling and its fins, and I'm thinking that's also a male. You guys uh, let me know what you think. There you go, come on closer. There you go, profile for me and everything. See that? I'm thinking that I got a bunch of males. I don't see not one female out the group. But that's, uh, that's, that's how the cookie crumbles, I guess. I'm gonna have to find me some females somewhere uh, so I can get me some some breeding activity. But anyway, that male Jafarum and that female Jafarum, they're pretty cozy. He killed that red tiger motor, that male red tiger motor that I had in here. He made quick work of him. I'm so sad about that one. That's, I had got him, um, he was a good size too. I had got him from uh, Matt from Cichlid Dojo. And uh, that guy was about that size right there. But then uh, Jafar, I guess, is just too big for him. And he just, he murked him. And that's the female Jafar right there. She's looking beautiful. Um, that, that's my lone fest day. My other fest day I had in here. Um, found it floating at the top yesterday. Looking rag tagged up and beat up. Now this guy here, this uh, Cuban cichlid. Look at his bottom lip. Look like he been lip locking with somebody. Uh, see, there he go. Messing with them uh, Freddies. But all, you know, that's, I, I got seven Freddies from Matt from Cichlid Dojo, and I still got the same seven Freddies that um, Carpenter Cichlid, I had seven of them from Matt, and that's the lone Carpenter's left. Um, I got uh, a Carpenter's loose, about half that size, uh, in a uh, quarantine that I had got from, uh, from Mike D from Cichlid Hut. And um, I'm paying attention to this uh, albino silver arowana I got. He's a proper juvenile too, I guess. <laughs> He's no longer considered a grow up. So yeah, uh, of course I got, you You guys know I got another uh, albino uh, silver arowana um, in my uh, seven tank. But anyway, um, so that's what's going on over here in this tank. I got some guys that are proper juveniles at this point. Uh, looking beautiful, colors coming out nicely. And uh, let's see what it do. Um, I'm gonna have to put some Melafix in here and heal this guy up. But he's beautiful otherwise, his colors, you know, look at him. Other than that, other than that, those chew marks on the side, his fins look good and everything, but you can tell somebody went at him, probably that Cuban. Um, <clears throat> but for the most part, as you can see, nobody's just running, chasing each other around the tank. Everybody's fins look pretty much intact. So it's not but so bad, but then, you know, these sickness, they just they change up on you. You go to bed one night and you come back downstairs and one of your fish just chewed the hell up or floating at the top. 
and that's been going on in this tank. Um, I had, uh, let me see, three casualties that way. Okay, and you see this fence, they one of the fins are missing, but he's getting along just fine, slow growing, one of the fins missing, but I would have thought that this one would have been got murked before the other one, but uh, this is the one that survived. I'm pissed off because the other one was prettier to me if you ask me. Um, and then I got, um, you can see the tail end of my Adonis Pleco hiding underneath that driftwood over here in the corner. So as you can see, all the sand blue, you know, that's how strong I keep my wave maker and I keep it pointed up at the top, but it circulates the water and make it kind of circulate in a circle and blows all the sand back this way. But that's my strategy for getting all the detritus to just kind of blow and try to get it to levitate up in the uh, water column and, and get sucked in by my filtration, all right? All right, let me give y'all a quick look at this Adonis Pleco over here. Let me change angles, y'all, hold tight. Oh, this is a good look at him. This is a good look. This is my Adonis Pleco. It's a good look at him right here. Good close up. These guys are beautiful. If you don't know the Adonis, the Adonis, rather, Adonis Pleco, they get, uh, Humongous. They get it. They, 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 they. Well, they are famed and recognized as being the largest growing pleco there is. They get like super long, you know, like three feet long, <laughs> you know. And those spots uh, will grow out, will fade out, and they'll be pure black with the uh, long trailer extensions on the end. Oh yeah, he's showing us. There you go, buddy. Beautiful man. Show us what you're looking like. I appreciate that. Love you for that. Thank you. Beautiful looking fish. Love this guy. All right, let me show y'all something. Hold tight. All right, y'all. All right, uh, what you're looking at here is uh, some grow out, some fry that I had got from. You see that eating? I had right before I decided to film. I had put some um, extreme flakes fish food, extreme flakes, uh, krill flakes in here. And they ate most of it. Let me see any floating at the top. Yeah, they got some at the top. Oh, there you go, got some at the top still. And uh, these guys here, um, I got all of these guys. These are carpenters cichlid fry. I got them from Mike D from Cichlid Hut. That's my brother there. If you hadn't already uh, checked him out, please do go check out his channel. Go visit his channel called the cichlid hut and um, he's, he's very good for the hobby he's, he's a good good brother seemed to uh, breed these cichlids like it ain't nothing but uh, he's a good fish keeper very knowledgeable very humble brother and I got these um, because he he, he likes some of, some of the same uh, cichlids that I like and um, I think he may have gotten some of these from Matt from cichlid dojo because I know his uh, he also have another another source because his cousin is an importer um, or wholesaler, and he bring bring in a lot of different cichlids. But he also get some of his cichlids from Matt from Cichlid Dojo. But these are carpenters, so this is to make it for all the carpenters that are lost. Um, and now that I know, when these guys start getting a little size on them to separate them, will give them a huge huge space so they don't all. Um, Merc each other because it seems like that's what carpenters would do if you allow it. Underneath that driftwood is a good size uh, albino blue eyed uh, bushy nose pleco. Back there in the corner just came out is, come on now, let me see. There you go, you see that little green phantom back there? Surprise, he came out. Let me see him. But um, anyway, I just wanted to close this up and let you guys see uh, <laughs> these little guys because they're so cute. All right, y'all, if, uh, if you hadn't already, if this is your first time checking out my channel, uh, I appreciate you coming to visit. Uh, please um, leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, if you hadn't already, uh, please subscribe. Uh, every little bit of action will help the uh, algorithm 
that YouTube that uh, YouTube um, uh, will toy around with to see if my videos are worth putting out there in front of uh, more. So when other people are looking for videos, uh, YouTube hopefully will put me out in front of them and gain a larger audience and help this channel grow. So like I said, please uh, leave a like, uh, subscribe, leave a comment. And uh, oh yeah, they showing a quick look at my little Sabrina pike. These are proper. These are proper grow-offs. It's a green pipe. All right, just going to show you that vantage point real quick. So, enough things going down here in the, in the uh, fish room. All right, you guys. Uh, until next time. Uh, happy fish keeping. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.